Bang. As soon as he ran into the bank, a fire extinguisher slammed into Keith's head, knocking him unconscious. He saw golden stars shining in his eyes as the world went black around him. Keith had been born into a poor family, and he dropped out of community college to find a job. On an acquaintance's recommendation, he joined the local police department recently and started working as a technician for the district patrol squad. He'd only started working with the police a few months back, and now he'd run right into a bank robbery. Before he could even figure out what was going on, the fire extinguisher knocked him senseless. Just as he felt like he was about to die, a mysterious voice popped into Keith's head. He heard a beep in his mind. Ding! And then a voice said, Wish system successfully bonded. Uploading welcome gift for new host. The voice continued. Congratulations. Host obtains three wishes. Keith was utterly bewildered, and his mind went blank. The only thought left in his head was that he didn't want to die. He heard the voice again. Ding! You have made your first wish. Host receives a skill. Recovery from injury. Description. Host will recover from any and every kind of injury within five seconds. As the voice faded, Keith felt a warm current flow through his entire body. A few seconds later, he regained his senses. He opened his eyes and touched his head before standing up as if nothing had happened. Even the best-tempered man would have been angry at being knocked unconscious, let alone a hot-blooded teenager like Keith. As soon as he came back to his senses, he yelled, Who the hell hit me? I swear, I'm going to beat the crap out of you. The sound resounded in his mind again. Ding! Second wish successful. Host obtains a skill, throwing proficiency. Description. Host will be able to hit his target with 100% accuracy, provided the target is within range. Keith felt another wave of warmth flow through his body, but he didn't pay much attention to it. Instead, he grabbed the fire extinguisher that had knocked him out and hurled it in the direction of the nearest robber. Crash! The fire extinguisher blew through the air like a homing missile. It hit the mask robber right in the head, and he fell to the ground with a dull thud. It had all happened so quickly, and the staff, customers, and robbers alike were shocked by the young man who had appeared out of nowhere to save the day. One of the other robbers, who had a ski mask on, yelled loudly and raised his pistol to shoot at Keith. Keith looked around wildly, but there was nothing nearby that he could throw. Then, he remembered that he had a coin in his pocket. As he took the coin out, the voice rang in his mind again. Ding! Throwing proficiency skill activated. Gah! Keith yelled as he hurled the coin at the gun-toting robber's face. In a fraction of a second, the coin shot straight into the man's open mouth. His body instantly froze and his face turned pale. He clutched at his throat tightly before he fell to the ground, choking and writhing in pain. Boss! screamed a chubby man in a ski mask. He raised the machete in his hand and rushed at Keith. After taking out two consecutive robbers, Keith's mind was utterly focused. Without hesitation, he roared in his mind, I wish to defeat this thief. Without fail, the voice answered him. Ding! Wish granted. Host gains the ability. Hammer fist proficiency. The warm feeling returned just as the chubby robber reached him. I need extra strength to fight, Keith shouted. He dodged the machete and took the opportunity to yank the robber down and deliver a series of blow to the man's head. The robber couldn't even manage a scream as he crumbled to the ground. 
The fight was followed by a deathly silence, and the bank staff and customers stared at Keith in amazement. Just moments ago, they'd been in fear for their lives, trying to figure out how to escape. But this young man had managed to handle the situation single-handedly, taking out all three of the bank robbers in seconds. The atmosphere in the bank crackled with an awkward disbelief. But the voice in Keith's head wasn't done. You have shattered the thieves' desire to rob the bank. You earn one free distribution attribute point. You have fulfilled the wish of the people at the scene to be saved. You earn one wish value. Description. The system will grant you a new wish when your total wish value reaches 10 points. With the robbers all knocked out, Keith finally had a chance to process what was happening. His mind began to race as he listened to the system's voice ring out in his head and he was overcome with a jumble of questions and conflicting feelings. System? What system? He asked himself as he tried to clear his head. The shrieking of sirens engulfed the bank as the SWAT team arrived at the scene. When the special officers rushed in, they were stunned by what they saw. The three masked robbers lay unconscious on the ground. Not a single civilian appeared to be harmed. A middle-aged man rushed in and was speechless for a few seconds as he took in the scene. Then, he asked in surprise, What's going on here? A woman in the crowd replied, You're too late. This young man already dealt with the bad guys. Young man? The newcomer turned to Keith in confusion. Suspiciously, he asked, Did you do all of this? By this time, Keith had regained his senses. His confusion was gone, and his confidence had returned. After all, he had this mysterious new system to help him. He smiled sweetly and replied, I guess I was just lucky. At first, the older man didn't seem to buy it. His eyes widened, and he looked at Keith in disbelief, but as he turned to the crowd in front of him, he saw them nodding and cheering the young man on. He patted Keith on the shoulder and said, Good job. He went on, Which department are you from, son? What's your name? Keith stood to attention and replied, I just joined recently as a technician, sir. My name is Keith Sanderberg. The man was undoubtedly impressed by Keith's attitude. When he heard his polite tone, he smiled. I'll be sure to remember you. Keith Sanderberg. With that, the man turned to the SWAT team beside him and said, Check the scene. Get the situation under control. Investigate everyone. Make sure there are no more suspects. He paused before adding, And get me the surveillance footage. I want to see it. It was only then that Keith realized who the middle-aged man was. He was none other than James Cooper the chief of police in Summerfield. James smiled as he watched the surveillance video. His tone was filled with admiration as he said, Mr. Sanderberg, does your head still hurt? You did a great job. We'll have to find a way to thank you. Uh, come on, come with me. Keith couldn't help but scratch his head in embarrassment as James arranged for him to be escorted to Summerfield General Hospital. Even though the results of his checkup came back clear, James insisted that Keith be kept under observation for a while. He arranged for Keith to have the best private room in the hospital and told everyone that he'd been injured in the line of duty. The bed in the hospital room was the most comfortable bed Keith had ever been in. Once he was settled and everyone had finally left, he closed his eyes and tried to access whatever this system was inside him. In his mind's eye, he saw a wall of data appear. It said, Host, Keith Sanderberg. Power, 8. Average level of adult males is 10 points. Dexterity, 9. 
Average level of adult males is 10 points. Stamina, 9. Average level of adult males is 10 points. Skills, Eye of Detection, Passive Skill. Injury Recovery Proficiency, Throwing Proficiency, Hammer Fist Proficiency. Wish Points, 1 out of 10. Free Distribution Attribute Point, 1. Keith smiled to himself a little. Now he had time to pay attention to it. He realized that this system looked a lot like the one from his favorite computer game, Wish System All-Stars. It was rumored that the game's creator had based the game on his own real-life experience. And while Keith had always hoped that was true, he would never really expected it to be. But now that it was happening inside his own head, Keith started to believe that maybe there was something to the rumors after all. Or maybe taking a fire extinguisher to the head had just left some lasting damage. Keith hesitated for a moment before deciding to try something out. He told the system to add his free distribution point to his dexterity score, knowing that would help him run away in case something ever happened to him. To his delight, he watched as the numbers flickered and his dexterity increased to 10 points. Could this really be happening? Could he really have become a real-life Wish System All-Star? Still dressed in his hospital gown, Keith picked up the bunch of grapes from the bedside table and got up. As he left the ward, he shouted in his mind, Eye of Detection. Instantly, he could see a red light shooting out from a young nurse in front of him. Any living being glowing red under the Eye of Detection had an unfulfilled wish at that very moment. He noticed that the nurse was in a hurry. So he walked over to her and politely asked, Excuse me, miss, what's the matter? 